could we be saying goodbye to a certain WWE diva after WrestleMania? Nikki Bella, supposedly to take time off or supposedly retire. Is it these rumors true or not? Let's find out together. What is going on, guys? This is your boy, Blair, coming at you with another news update regarding WWE news and rumors. Um, I'm going to jump right into this story. I found this by pure accident, and it's got me wondering a couple things. Rumors have been flying around Nikki Bella for a long time now would be retiring, or at least leaving the WWE after WrestleMania 33 due to related issues to her neck. According to a new report from Pro Wrestling Sheet, that's not exactly the case. <clears throat> the report indicates that her contract will be coming up around WrestleMania, but she's expected to sign a new deal. What's more, she will be taking time off to deal with symptoms related to neck issues, like pain and numbness on one side of her body. Of the of her body, yeah, excuse me. It's been something of a surprise that she's worked a full-time schedule since her return last year. And apparently her neck can't withstand the pain. Per Wrestling Sheet reports that she is hoping to continue wrestling at big events when she comes back. She's currently scheduled to wrestle Natalia at Elimination Chamber and is rumored for a mixed tag match at WrestleMania 33. <coughs> Yawn. Don't want to see it. It sounds like she needs the part-time schedule. Her boyfriend, John Cena, is currently working. Either way, it looks like she won't be leaving WWE any time soon. Here's what I gotta say about that. If she were to leave WWE in any way, shape, or form, it'll be a detrimental blow to that woman's roster. She's worked so hard since her return. I don't want to see her leave. And who are they going to have to replace her? There's nobody on that roster right now that, in my opinion, can hold like hold hold a women's division down just like Nikki Bella. Like If, you, if she is going to leave, if I were WWE right now, I would be looking at to bring somebody, a woman, up from NXT to take her spot. That's if she's retired. And now if she's not, then somebody in that women's division has to step up, like Naomi. Um, Alexa Bliss has done a good job. Um, hell, I mean, give the Mickey James, like give, give her a push. Like she deserves one. She's one of the best in the business. And the fact that Mickey James has been treated like major shit since she's come back. I mean, I don't know. But um, going back to Nikki Bella, is she leaving? I doubt it. I mean, if she's retiring, yeah, I doubt it. But um, if she's hurt, if she's got to take time off to fix her neck, to make sure her neck doesn't like give her any more problems. Because if you guys remember, Stone Cold Steve Austin had the same problem. He had neck surgery back in '97. And he was out all the way up until the Royal, almost late 97, early 98. And he came back when the Royal Rumble, 1999, he had that same thing come back. He had to have surgery, like, right up in here, again. So, but, um, yeah, that's basically what happened. Same thing happened to Stone Cold. It's happening to Nikki Bella as of right now. At this point in time, she is in so much pain. And she has having numbness on one side of her body. That is a problem. She needs to get that looked at. And if she is... Taking off just to heal her body. Hey, more, more power to her. She needs the time off. That's fine. But if she is retiring, she will be missed. She will be missed so much. But, um, I see, I don't see her retiring. I don't. I see her taking some time off, getting through WrestleMania season. And I see... I see somebody being called up for NXT, to be honest with you. The night after WrestleMania, SmackDown, the SmackDown after WrestleMania. I see somebody from NXT being called up. I see Asuka coming to SmackDown. Yes, I said it. Ember Moon. I see Ember Moon winning the NXT title on WrestleMania weekend at TakeOver. And then Asuka coming up to the main roster, coming to SmackDown Live. And if Nikki Bella is happened to, to retire... There's your replacement right there in Asuka. She will carry that women's division to the next to the next level. And you have Asuka and Alexa Bliss who had some... I don't know if they had a history in NXT, but they can cross paths. You got Alexa Bliss versus Asuka. Asuka versus Becky Lynch. Asuka versus Naomi. 
you got a bunch of good marquee matches right there. And that's basically my opinion on that. Let me know what you think about that. Follow me on Twitter at RobbieBird23. It'll say Bird2393 as the Twitter page, just like it is on this YouTube channel. Hit subscribe for more videos like this throughout the day and throughout the week. My top three, my personal top three Elimination Chamber matches are up on the channel right now. Please check that out and hit the subscribe button again. And I'll catch you guys in another day. As soon as I get done with this video, I will be jumping on Call of Duty to play the new zombie match. The zombie map for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Sabotage. So, look for that live stream. My name is Robbie. I'll catch you guys another day. Y'all be careful. I'll catch you guys later.